In this video, we're going to talk about why the resurrection is important, why the resurrection of Jesus Christ is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. Hello, this is Rock Leach of Social Fire, a transformational love e-church. And on this channel, we discuss questions that many Christians have while also discussing various theological concepts and ideas while challenging those in our community to live out their true callings as Christians. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Click that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we ignite a new fire. So in this video, I, I want to talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ and why it's significant. Now, I do want to let you know there are several other beliefs out here. There are several other religions out here, beliefs and understandings out here. But I do want to talk about their founding fathers, founding mothers. I want to talk about uh, uh, why Jesus is separated from all of those and is... Uh, <laughs> In fact, the ultimate, uh, you know, Savior and Messiah that was promised. And we want to make sure that we are able to differentiate Christianity as it pertains to Jesus Christ from the others. So I want to take a closer look here to talk about uh, why resurrection is important. So let, let's go here. Let's look at it this wise right here. So uh, we know that there is the Confucius. Uh, he has a tomb. Uh, he passed away, died, uh, just like Jesus did, but there's a difference. The difference is, is that his tomb is occupied. Now, I do want to make reference here that his tomb is in, um, it's in China, and there are about 6.1 million people who follow Confucianism worldwide. Uh, but his tomb is occupied. There's another, there's another one named Buddha. Now, Buddha has a tomb as well. Uh, his tomb is also in China. His tomb is in China. And in spite of it being in China, his tomb in China is occupied. And they have about 400, well, 400 million followers uh, there. But his tomb, as you can see, is occupied. Now, I did put that, have that tooth in uh, parentheses there because his body was cremated. And uh, they have different artifacts that they put on exhibit, different things like that. But we know where to find all those things that we know where to find the ashes at because it's occupied. Muhammad, Muhammad, uh, who is known for Islam, um, is buried in Medina, Saudi Arabia, rather. And Muslims number approximately 1.9 billion followers. I mean, they have that many followers. Uh, but I do want to tell you, we know where the grave is and it is occupied uh just gonna go keep going here uh, we have another belief the protestant belief and martin luther is known for the protestant belief protestant reformation if you would and his grave is in wittenberg germany and they have about 900 million protestants it's, that that's a lot worldwide uh as as the other ones are but once again martin luther's grave is occupied you can see the picture <laughs> right there of his grave uh, going even further we have uh, someone who's known for the Methodist Church their belief uh, John Wesley known for the Methodist Church and he's buried there in London the United Kingdom and they have more than 12 million followers uh, but once again his grave is occupied as well um, just going further here Joseph Smith Joseph Smith known for the Book of Mormon, also known for the Latter-day Saints, um, buried there in Nauvoo, Illinois. And there they have about 17 million worldwide. Uh, and once again, John Smith's grave is occupied. It is occupied. Um, Seven Day of Venice. Uh, Ellen G. White is known for the Seven Day of Venice. Uh, she's buried in Battle Creek, Michigan, and they have about 21 million followers 21 million people worldwide that follow this belief but once again we know where ellen's grave is it's in battle creek michigan and uh it's there and she is occupying that grave she's occupying uh that grave 
uh, just going another route here, uh, Christian science, Christian science, the thought there, uh, which Mary Baker Eddy is known for Christian science, and she's buried in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, now, they have about 400,000 members, which is going to be one of the smaller aspects here, 400,000 members worldwide. Uh, but once again, we know where Mary's grave is, and that grave is occupied. Finally, we have um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have Jesus Christ here, and Jesus Christ is not in that tomb. He's not there. We know where it is, but he doesn't occupy it. You see, there is a difference when we look at this. There's a difference because you have all of these founders of different faith, but they all occupy their grave. Jesus Christ does not occupy his grave. There is a difference between him and these others. One, theologians called him the Theanthropos, which is Theos for God and Anthropos for man. He is God man. He is 100% God and 100% man. So he was able to do what these others could not do. He walked this earth. He told us what was going to happen. I'll be raised in three days. And so they crucified him, crucified him in the most gruesome, extreme way possible. Rivets in his hands and in his in his uh, in his wrists, rather, and rivets in his legs. And it's the most uh, gruesome way uh, to die because the whole purpose of it was to torture you and keep you alive as long as possible so that you would suffer. And so he decided at his young age of 33 uh, that he would die and he died and was buried, but he didn't stay there. The wonderful thing about the burial is that he didn't stay there, but it makes the glory of the resurrection that much more powerful. The fact that he got up and did not have to stay there. And so this is why the resurrection is important, because Jesus Christ is the gospel, the good news. We as Christians believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we have to make sure that not only are we one and we learn and we are developed as Christians, but we go out because of the Great Commission and we win others, go into all nations and preach and teach the gospel to those who don't know and teach them the things that we've learned so that they'll go and do the same thing. If you like content like this, I want you to like this video. If you want to be a part of this community, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Uh, but more than that, I want to know your thoughts down below. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Why is the resurrection of Jesus Christ important to you? I want to hear your thoughts. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.